The demo of Paper Trail has me excited to see the game in full action. Its cozy music and soft watercolor art style really put you in the mood to be solving some puzzles. We play as Paige, a budding academic leaving home for the first time. We adventure through different areas of her world and we have to get creative with the steps that we take. In this 2D top-down game, every page has two sides and it's in our power to fold and manipulate those pages to make paths for us to walk along. In addition to folding the pages to make the paths line up, with each new area, more and more pieces of the puzzle get added to the game. You'll come across blocks that aren't real until they're matched up with their twin. Blocks that move while you stand on them. Blocks that move, but not while you stand on them. Statues standing in the way. And buttons that need pressing. With the new challenge in every area, I'm really intrigued to see what other challenges Newfangled Games has up their sleeve. Now, Paige isn't the only character in this story. There are unique NPCs to encounter in each one of the areas of this world. Starting at your home base, you meet your family. It includes some aunts, uncles, um, and your parents. A lost spelunker in the caves, a frog-catching duo in the swamp, and an archaeologist in the desert. It does make me wonder if we're going to touch base again with our family before the end of our journey. So obviously all of my opinions are based just on the demo of this game, but I don't have very many complaints. In fact, I have only one, and that is that there's a cat and I can't pet it. I do love puzzles and I'd say I'm relatively good at them, so keep that in mind when I talk about the difficulty. I do think that the average puzzle lover will find enough challenge in them to keep them on their toes. Like I said, with each new area, there seems to be a new mechanic added to the way that you can manipulate your world, and figuring out exactly how those work adds to the challenge as well as just the puzzle itself, knowing which way to fold things to get them to line up, um, while really only being able to see the other side of the page backwards or when you fold it. Now, them being challenging is far from a complaint. I think this is a good thing. I think if you're playing a puzzle game, you're looking to be challenged. And the last thing I want is to just blow through the puzzles. That being said, the unique characters that you meet throughout definitely add to the game as a whole. So even if you're better at puzzles than I am, I think the story of Paige's adventure is totally worth it. Hey, thanks for checking out Chicken D&D. If you like what you saw, click all the buttons down below. Subscribe, like, comment, you know the drill. Thank you again so much. See you next time. Bye.